Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to viewers to some more Stormworks. Today, we're gonna take our land oil rig and we're gonna take it over to the ocean and see if we can drill some oil there. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and jump in and let's get started. All right, so let's grab this guy. We'll take him out and let's head over to the oil rig. Okay, we're over at the oil rig and as you can see, we've got a massive area here to, uh, to build on. And I can tell you from experience, just laying down a platform on this is gonna cost you a whole bunch of money. But I don't think we're gonna use the whole area here, at least not today. We're just gonna use kind of a part of it. And uh, we're gonna move some things around and see if we can't get this to uh, lower our wellhead down and see if we can get some drilling done. So uh, let's go ahead and spawn in. All right, we're all spawned in. As you can see, things are a little different here. I, uh, this is the same exact platform I used in the last one, in the all-in-one. Uh, I've just moved some things away. Uh, so we've moved the uh, the little lifeguard tower, I keep calling it, uh, out of the way there. So we've got some more room here. Uh, I've added twice as many rods, actually twice as many plus ones. So I think we have 25 rods now. Uh, I've moved some stuff out of the way here. We've moved all our oil out of the way here. Uh, I've doubled up our jet fuel and diesel fuel tanks. So we have 80,000 storage of each. And I've also added an extra refinery because we just weren't going through the oil quick enough. So hopefully we can move through some more oil. Uh, might need to add actually a third one here depending on things, how they go. Uh, but yeah, we've just got a bunch of space here. I didn't drag the blocks out any further. Uh, lag was starting to happen once we start getting too many blocks. But yeah, that, that was a thing. Uh, got a storage container over here just for looks, but we're going to move all our microcontrollers inside this and have a place to store all those. Uh, just so they're not down on the bottom there. And I've added a helipad here just so we can have some nice uh, offshore landings. Uh, some things still need to be worked on. I've got some uh, railing that needs to be worked on here. I don't like the way this stretches all the way across. I want to put some segments in here. But I uh, just want to make sure we didn't start falling off this thing. Uh, I've got an idea here to actually bring in and start using some of the... The desalinators uh that way we can start pumping up salt water and we can always keep this full even though i don't think we'll need it based on how we've drilled in the past but it'd be nice to have that system on board as well uh things are easily accessible here just a lot just a lot more open but i'm excited about doing uh some double refining over there what's different here uh everything here is about the same i've got a couple extra dials here that we've got to, i've got to work around and fix on those but i've got a depth to seabed uh, and that is actually a distance sensor that is right on the bottom of this that shoots straight down. And what that's going to allow me to do is here we can see we've got 135, 136 meters to go. That lets me know that I'm going to need 14 rods just to get down to the bottom. Uh, and then from there, we'll have to have whatever rods we have left over actually do drilling. Uh, so I've got some uh, anchors set up for the actual well head. Let's go down and look at what I've done there. Uh, I've got a little section here. Now we can climb down. So we'll come down our ladder here and we can get underneath the actual rig and I've got four giant winches holding this thing up uh, now it's actually on some tracks here too to keep it centered while it is posted here and the idea behind this and this is the only way that I've been able to do this successfully I've seen other ideas and it's just a lot harder for me to accomplish so this is the way that I'm doing it and this is the way that I'm showing you guys uh, we are actually going to lower the rods down we're going to sink a rod into the oil rig wellhead and then we're going to start lowering this all down at the exact same time so we're going to lower it down with a rod inside of it now these lights they'll pop on as soon as we are anchored to the bottom using the uh the magals the clamps but uh, i don't know if you can see i've actually got some uh let's see if i can go into photo mode here and you can see what's going on i've got some legs here that act as stability uh that helps when the rig gets to the bottom or if anything happened where the rods popped out this would not fall over I don't think it's necessarily needed in the style that I've done, but it, I've seen this fall over a couple times and yeah, it's causing problems. And I think we've got a rogue wave or something coming too. Anyway, uh, altimeter sensor is right there. So I know exactly where the bottom of this is. So we will have a discrepancy from this up to our distance sensor. Uh, it's about 10 meters discrepancy, but that's it's still enough to let us know what's going on. Let's get out of uh, photo mode here and see what is coming. Yeah, we've actually got a... Uh, got a wave coming in i don't think it's going to be tall enough to even cause us any problems but uh let's go ahead and start let's see actually we're going to wait for this wave to go by and then we'll start we'll start drilling oh, i just saw a crate out there riding the wave oh and the wave just despawned okay cool well uh we're ready to go here let's uh let's go ahead and start doing this all right just turn detailed off even though we're trying to do kind of a tutorial here we turn detailed off just so there's not so much in the way here i'm gonna go ahead and turn clamps on for the connector here and let's go ahead and grab our first rod and this is going to be the easy part because we can just shove rods straight down in and there we go we connected on the connector and we should be going into the wellhead yep we're already inside the wellhead there and i think that's as far as we can go let's pull this out 
All right, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to shove this rod down as far as it can go. I'm not going to use this, the connector here because what we're actually doing is using the up down on the rod connector to actually lower and raise the well head as well. And I had to take those winches and I had to turn those all the way down to the slowest that they could go. Otherwise, the well head was too fast for what we were doing. Uh, so we've, we've pushed that down. It should pop back up a little bit. No, okay, we've got enough little space in there. Let's grab our next rod here. Slide that into place, connect it up, and get that out of the way. I'm going to start lowering this, and we should be lowering everything down at once. With the rod in the actual wellhead, shouldn't be out of place. No need for a submarine. And it looks like we are good. I almost went too far not paying attention there. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab another rod here. Slide over, in the spot. Connect it, move it out of the way, and slide it over. And now we've got to do this about 14 more times, because we've got to get... We've got to cover this 136 uh, meters here. Uh, so we're going to have these 140 meters of actual rod. And we've already gone down five below sea level. So that's good to go there. Uh, the other issue that I've had is rods don't like to go further than 280 meters, roughly. That's some of my experiences I've had. I've tried other oil rigs that are out in the deep ocean. Uh, the rods, the the wellhead will make it down, but then the rods stop going down. And any rod that you connect here ends up like just kind of sliding and disappearing. So that's the issues that I've had uh, on the oil rigs that are way out in the ocean. So this one's way inland. We're kind of in between Sawyer and Myers Island here. We're, we've got kind of a good spot where the seabed is not too deep. So if you do come across an oil rig and you, you say you spawn this in and the depth of seabed is around 300, I, I, I hate to say it, you're probably not going to make it. Your rods are probably just going to start desyncing and despawning, and you'll have problems. So, yeah, try to sit somewhere where you have a small one here. I hate to say you might have to respawn a mission or a map a couple times, but that is a thing that I've come across and other people have come across as well. So, it sucks, but it is what it is. So, just uh, hope that your oil rig is not way out there. Otherwise, you're going to have to pay for some actual information, and we're going to turn this into a boat and see how well this does floating in one spot. Uh, that would be the other thing that we need to do with this as well. So, hmm, can we change this into a giant boat? We might be able to. Anyway, uh, run in my mouth. Let me go ahead and throw some rods down here, and then when we get close to the bottom, I'll let you guys know what's up. All right, we're just sinking rod 13 now. So we were 130 meters above where we need to be, and we're pretty close. Uh, I have brought the pump down just a couple of times to actually push the rods down through the clamp and stretch the ropes out a little bit, and it would push back, but that kind of lets me know that it is all the way down in the wellhead. Uh, let me go a little further here. Uh, but this is number 14, so this should push us over the 136 mark here, and we should be drilling here soon. So let's go ahead and bring this one down as well. Uh, the other thing that I did is I turned on our anchor for the wellhead down there. And as soon as it actually anchors up, we'll get a light here. And that'll let us know that it is actually on the bottom. Uh, so this should be pretty close. Okay, there were a clamp there. Let's get off of this. And we should be getting close now. Oh, there we go. We are now anchored to the bottom. Okay, we are good to go. We can get this out of the way. We can bring our pump head down. Put our rod spinner on the clamp and start drilling. Wait, what? Have we already hit oil that quick? I'm not getting any oil here. Oh, there we go. We are getting oil. Okay, interesting. That quick we've gotten oil. Yeah, we're starting to pump some. Let's go check out our... Uh, here, let's turn this off. There we go. Oil alarm off. Uh, we should start seeing it here. Are we not pumping? We are pumping. Do we need to go a little bit further? We might need to go down a little bit further. We might just be scratching the surface here. Let's do that. Let's uh, let's give it some more pressure. There we go. We just need to go down a slightly bit more. All right, and we are pumping oil from the ocean floor. As you can see, the lights are on down there. That lets us know that it actually is clamped up and it is good to go. So yeah, now we could come over here and we can turn our refineries on and start making jet and diesel. Uh, how much do we have in here? 400, I think that's enough. Let's go ahead and crank these on. 
and we'll open the fuel valves up for these and another tornado another tornado water spout out there hopefully it doesn't come close to us all right once this reaches 300 we should have start should have some fuel here still pumping still pumping oil so yeah i've got to do some changes here i've got to, i've got some extra dials here i don't need so i've got to fix this i've got to move this around a little bit make this a little cleaner um maybe add an extra refinery and do some railing adjustments here under there just a few things here and there that uh could be done obviously this is not health and safety or osha approved here uh so we've got to fix this but yeah guys if you can think of anything you want to add to this oil rig i'll be happy to add it i'm thinking lifeboats some more sleeping quarters uh somewhere for these guys to eat bath and shower just a bunch of cosmetic stuff that we don't actually need uh the lifeboats could be good uh lifeboats could be useful maybe an area to store more iso containers to be able to bring those in fill those up and have people come and take this away that could be an idea for like a landing zone over here but uh yeah let me know what you think down in the comments that'd be great um are we refining yet um i think we are i've got these separated too by a couple valves here so these front tanks won't fill up until these back ones uh get a little full and you can start pushing stuff back so yeah we are getting fluid here we shouldn't have fluid here yet because it is filling up over here but yet we are still filling up those once those fill up and they fill up our reserve tanks then we'll have diesel going into our tank over there so yeah everything is everything's working great so guys i hope this uh i hope this video helped you out uh if you're a little confused here about what's going on maybe go back and check out my other videos on the on the basic oil rig uh the basic refining and then i've added those two together to make the overall functioning oil rig and then we've brought this here and kind of slapped some stuff on it so not much was changed here uh, again i'll go over some of the stuff we did at the bottom i've got four winches all hooked up to the same up and down that we're using on the drill connector or the rod connector so it's going down at the same speed that these guys do i changed it, the setting of these the speed is very slow uh other than that uh distance sensor and an altitude sensor on it and there's not much else you need really uh, a couple track slides to kind of keep it straight while we uh we do it here and here's all that logic i'm talking about it's it's not a lot of logic but i just want to get this logic out of here and move it up into our area there so yeah, maybe we can go check out on our diesel now, see if that's going, and we'll go from there. All right, there we go. And we've got diesel now. So we've got diesel and jet fuel being produced. How are we looking on oil? Oil is probably still going, it's still going up. So we probably could throw an extra refinery in here and be okay. Uh, I'll have to do some testing on that and figure it out. But uh, I am going to leave the video here. Thanks again for watching, you guys. I hope this helped you out. I hope this helps you figure out how to drill offshore. Uh, I'm going to start working on a giant ship that can house all this. And that we could do this on one of the actual paid sites. And we'll see how well that works. But uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments if this helped you out. Or what else we could add to this to make this a little bit better. But yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you 100%. And we will see you in the next one.